We cook every individual order as it comes in because we do not believe in pre-cooking any of our soups. If we cook more than one serving per pot, it will actually dilute the flavour and the soup will not be as intense as what we want it to be. My name is Aaron. I'm 34 years old this year and I am the owner of Yanzi Seafood Soup, Old Airport Road. I came from the banking sector. After graduation, I started off with Stanchart. I left the banking industry because I felt that it would have been automated to a certain extent where the human connection was no longer necessary. But this would not be the case for f and where the human touch is still very necessary in this industry. One of the difficulties of being a young hawker, first and foremost, would be the age because a lot of people, they feel that being young, you would have no experience in cooking and therefore they would automatically assume that the food that you produce would not be as flavourful or as well prepared as somebody who has more years in the industry. The minced meat takes the longest to cook, that would go down into the soup first. We start off at a very low level in terms of the soup base so that the temperature of the liquid rises as fast as possible. And so once the meat is cooked, once it has reached maybe about 70%, then we will add in the dory fish slices. Then finally, we will add in the prawns. And then just before we take out the soup, we will add in a secret ingredient. The basic seafood soup will have minced meat, prawns, as well as dory fish. The other type that we have would essentially be the crayfish seafood soup, which would be minced meat, prawns, dory fish, as well as the crayfish itself. We use the ingredients like the minced meat and the prawns to flavour the soup while we are cooking it. It is different from other soups that are already pre-prepared and then they just pour it into the bowl. This is also one of the difficulties that surfaces itself because we try to create a unique dish which a lot of people do not understand. So essentially they would ask for refills which we would not be able to give because the soup flavour comes from the cooking process. Initially, it was very difficult because I was not used to the type of environment. I was not used to the challenges that come with the job. I didn't know that customers can be so difficult and they can be extremely demanding. There were a lot of times when you just wanted to give up and you just felt like, what's the point of doing all this? But after a while, when you have more positive feedback and you have support from your friends, your family, as well as neighbouring stalls, then that's what keeps you going. And once you actually see the fruits of your labour, you tend to have a slight appreciation now in the f and industry, I really appreciate the amount of effort that goes into just one dish. You sort of get the sense of how much effort has gone into just coming out with that dish. Even for service staff, you tend to be more polite to them. You appreciate the work that they do. Overall, by starting your own business, be it in a hawker store or any other business that you are truly passionate about, you can really further yourself and grow yourself and you will be kinder to others which I think should generally be the way to do things. Sometimes you might feel that uh, there's more money to be made in the banking sector as opposed to f and but after a while, when you see the type of responses that you get when people enjoy your food, that kind of appreciation for what you do uh, far outweighs uh, the monetary incentive that you can earn. Uh.